Hello, and welcome to your new Mecklenburg County device. This video will help you configure your new iPhone or iPad. So here, I've already opened the phone and gone past language and country. At quick start, we wanna hit set up manually at the bottom. And on Tuesday Wi-Fi, you're going to head to the bottom of all of the Wi-Fi networks and hit Use Cellular Connection. Wait a few minutes for your phone to activate. Sometimes this takes a little while. So if you get failed to retrieve configuration, go back at the top and then hit next again and then continue and let it try to retrieve the configuration again. Okay, and here we go. So at data and privacy, we're going to continue. and don't transfer apps and data. Now remote management, next. And at this point, we're going to enter our Mecklenburg County email address. Make sure you spell it correctly. It is easy to misspell it and click next. Actually, before you hit next, if you can tap on your email address and hit copy because you're going to need it a couple more times. Now hit next. enter your Mecklenburg County password. Make sure that you've signed into a computer before you try this. If you try the temporary password, it will not work. Stay signed in, yes, make sure that again. Also, uh, if you have a hyphen in your last name, you may have to remove it to sign into that portion. And we're going to create a passcode. So I'm going to, if you prefer uh, four digits, you can hit passcode option and four digit. Let's just go ahead. Okay, I'm going to use that anyway. Okay, so now for the Apple ID, we're going to tap forgot password or don't have an Apple ID. And now the middle option, create a free Apple ID. And let's type our name. And your last name, and then your birthday. And then next. And you're going to type your email address. If you tap and well, if you hold down in the area where you would type your uh, email address, you'll be able to paste that email address from before in. Uh, if you weren't able to copy it, that's okay. You can just type it in. And next, so now we will come, we'll create an Apple password. 
Now this password is different from your Mecklenburg one. It will not change. So make sure you create something that you're going to remember. And next, and it has our phone number. So we're going to continue. Terms and conditions. We'll hit agree. And we wait again. Okay, keep your phone, keep your iPhone up to date. Continue. Location services, we will enable location services. iCloud keychain, let's hit continue. All right, welcome to iPhone. So from that line at the bottom, we will swipe up to get started. So now that is halfway through it. In a few minutes, uh, well, right now, <laughs> Uh, county apps will begin to download so we get the edit home screen uh, pop up we can hit dismiss it's just telling you how to edit the, your home screen so the app that's downloading now is comp portal that's the company portal let's tap there and sign in and now this looks familiar. So we're going to sign in again with our Mecklenburg County email address. Uh, it will give you the pop up to show you that you can slide your finger across the keyboard. Uh, you can just hit continue and it will bring up the keys. So again, if you hold down in the area where you type your email address, you can paste your email from before and again if you weren't able to copy it that's okay you can type it in and we will hit next and type in our Mecklenburg County password again it's the password you use for your computer and for your email to get email all right, so get notified so you don't lose access. Okay, send you notifications. We will allow. Set up Mecklenburg County access. So let's begin. We'll wait again while we get our device managed. Okay, now let's tap done. Okay, and from that line at the bottom, we can swipe up to go to the home screen. So in a few more minutes, we will see a few more apps show up. Uh, one of those will be the Outlook app that we can use for email. Okay, here come the apps. Sometimes they take longer than other times. If, uh, if you feel like it's taking way too long, then you can go ahead and go into the app store and try to download Outlook yourself. Uh, when you do, it's going to get you to verify your Apple ID. So you're going to have to do that by logging into email on your computer. But if it doesn't take too long, then you will be able to Verify your Apple ID right on your device. Okay, so once your apps download, you can
tap on Outlook. And we'll add an account. Okay, US government account detected. Okay. So it'll close to restart. Before I do that, I'm going to swipe over and tap on settings. And the Apple ID we created earlier, let's verify this email address. And send the code so now let's swipe at the bottom and go into Outlook and let's enable notifications turn them on and we like to send notifications yes let's allow So other emails at the top, uh, verify your Apple, verify your email address. Let's do that. All right, five, five, six, zero, one, three. So let's swipe up from the bottom and swipe over and go back into settings. So five, five, six, zero, three, one. Okay, let's tap on our name and tap on find my. So find my iPhone, let's turn that on and turned on send last location. So if someone takes your phone, you can use find my iPhone and locate it. Uh, if someone takes it or if you just lose it and normally in iCloud, I will go in here and I will turn on messages. So if, let's say for some reason, your phone breaks, then uh, text messages will be saved in iCloud. And once you do that, you can swipe up from the bottom and you are ready to go.